Alright ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and put a welcome back cap to all of my gym stars. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Hey listen, we got a lot to talk about, a little bit of time to get into it, but look, before we get started, I noticed that some people might not, you know, they might not like some of the women that I be putting up here in, in, in our female polls because they harlots. So we gonna go with some respectable women, man. I need y'all to know if you in the 30 and up club, let me know you in the 30 and up club down low and say, Nia Long, or at least Nia. Both these women are almost 50 years old if they not over 50 and they look good. I say they look good. So at least Nia or Nia Long. Why that black don't crack, boy, God. Hey, boy, let me show y'all something right quick, man. Let me show y'all something right quick, man. Let me show you. We just gonna show y'all this real fast, man. Uh, with Elise Neal working out. Boy, I'm talking about she got to be. Look at it. Look at it. Woo, look at all this Elise Neal deliciousness. Look, look at that. Boy, look at it, Elise. Why look at that. Why, why? You, you hope that you in this good a shape when you get that old out, boy. But that thing, she'd have kept herself up and she kept the uh, plastic surgery and all that good stuff to a minimum, man. Uh, that's what I love about those two right there. They, they, they really have tried to, to keep themselves up, keep themselves in shape, and do all that stuff, and keep themselves um, on the up and up. But hey, our first story, man. Hey, check this out, man. Um, stuff like this, man. Uh, Frank Castle, he came out yesterday, and I guess he's trying to... Let, let's, let's watch the little... Let, we gonna watch this little video first, man. And... Uh, and uh, when we watch the video, we, we're, we're gonna talk about it, man. But uh, let's just get right into this little video. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. He's mad. He mad, look at him, look at him, look at him. Look out here, look at him, look at him. I'll look tell y'all the context of this in a minute. That boy mad over here. Ask him to unblock me on Twitter, he got emotional. He said he gonna hit me. He said he gonna fuck me up, dead ass, on my son. He said that. He said he said he gonna fuck me up on my son. I promise you, he said that. All right, so fuck out of here. Look so we're just gonna pause the video right here now. From this whole thing, I'm just gonna read the first line because he put like a whole story down here and and some more stuff and and, and all this stuff that that nobody don't want to read and all this stuff. And I'm just gonna paraphrase it for y'all right quick, man. Um. More or less, what he's saying is this is y'all number one pick. How uh, you oh oh you know it's oh you know how it's a three oh you know it's a thread. No lies will be told, and uh, and there are witnesses that saw it. So pretty much what he's saying is he rolled up on dimes, asked him to unblock him, and then dimes was like, "Do I need to get security, my guy?" Blah blah blah, this and that. Look, man, I'm gonna tell you like this. Uh, and then you know, he, I guess he was trying. He telling him, you know, I, I played on one of the teams, blah, 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 all that stuff. You can read it, you, you, you can read the whole thread, man. But look, this is what I'm gonna tell you right here. You see that logo in the background that says NBA 2K League? Dimes is in the NBA 2K League, somewhat the poster boy of it Um, outside. It's him and Barry, really, that's the poster boys of the league, my guy. That NBA 2K League means that Dimes is at work. And uh, so what Dimes did, he called security and had him escorted out and all this stuff. And then then they, the, we got that part. But he said, Dimes said, you know, Dimes was telling him he going he gonna to mess him up. Or, or you know, he got really belligerent when, when, when uh, once the security got there or whatever. I guess it was like, now that they holding me back, I'm going to talk trash. Look, we ain't catch that on camera. I don't know why you didn't catch that on camera. But you should have caught that part on camera. I don't know catching that on camera after the fact and then put a story out there you know, supporting what you're saying. Number one thing in the world, bro, you don't pull up on a man and try to antagonize him at his place of work. I think Downs was completely within his right. You come up, you pull up on me and try to antagonize me about some 2K stuff while I'm at work, I will call the security guard and have him to escort your stupid ass out of the building. Bye. Ain't nobody got time for that stuff. I'm trying to get money right now. And you coming up here trying to, like, what? Now, would, if Dime said he gonna mess him up and talk trash and stuff like that, was he wrong? Yeah, but at the same time, bro, you can't do stuff like that. 
that's that's that that's a clown. It's, it's just like that. You're a clown if you do something like that. It's just plain and simple. Look, if we're gonna talk about it, talk about the game and all of this stuff, we don't know what the tone was, but if it was a, even a hint of that, what I'm saying is if there was even a hint of an antagonistic tone, then you got what you deserve. You didn't get the part on camera with Don was saying he gonna mess you up. You should have got that on camera. That would have gone a long way to support your claim. But I just don't ever understand why people always get all the other stuff on camera that that um that supports their claim and then i mean that well, it don't support their claim that you you got everything else but you don't get that one part it's just like my biggest problem in the world is like with the mike brown thing where we get every other fight and everything in the world off of world star and stuff like that but then when mike brown got shot just nobody caught him fighting the nobody caught no the dude fighting the police in the middle of the projects or they might have just seized all the phones. Stay woke. But anyway, like I said, you got everybody chiming in. It's Don's trying to put pause on your stuff like that. Uh, let me see. Is that bad guy? If I would have reacted, if I would have reacted to what what the actions were, if I kept my cool, bro. I don't care about none of this stuff. Obviously, you didn't keep it cool because you recorded it and then you trying to put it out there. And now you still trying to antagonize the man. If he did what he's what you said he did, I'd have start recording right then. That's what you're supposed to do. But. Like I said, why would you pull up on somebody in their place of business and attempting to, like, obviously you didn't have no good intentions. You was trying to antagonize him in the first place. If he had you blocked on Twitter, you have previously antagonized him. I wouldn't have unblocked you. I would have said, bro, if I got you blocked, you blocked for a reason. God speed to you. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your life. And I would have left it at that. And then if you would have kept pressing the issue, I would have called security. But I wouldn't have said two more words to you. You ain't going to mess up my money. I make way too much money at my job. And I'm sure Dimes does too. Make way too much money to let somebody mess up the money train. But if you do want to come to the job and try to mess the money train up, I do run a barbershop after hours. And I will give you the card to the barbershop and let you know what those hours are and the location of the barbershop. And you can get faded. I'm just gonna tell you that, and we ain't talking about fading the next rated either. I'm just letting you know, you messing up the money train, man. You messing up my little boy's livelihood, all that stuff right there. And I know, I think Niles do got a little boy. Bro, you can't be messing up people's money, man. The 2K community is weird. If he got you blocked, he got you blocked for a reason. Obviously, you said something previously antagonistic that he didn't like, so that's why he blocked you. And then you're gonna pull up on the dude in real life, and a lot of the 2K community are probably gonna look at this like, uh, 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 you big over Twitter, but when you but when you got up in, in public, then well, why he pull up on him in public where he know he couldn't do nothing? Why you put why you catch him at McDonald's or something? Why you catch him around the corner or something like that? Probably would have got the dog beat off of you. Or you probably would have beat the dog off of him. I don't know. But to me, it's a sucker move. This is just to me. Y'all let me know. Is it a sucker move? Do you do something like this? But while we applaud stuff like this in the 2K community, I would never applaud nothing like that. That's crazy. You don't pull up on a man in his place of business. Now you're trying to mess with the money train, man. You can't mess with the money train. Hey, if you ever seen that movie, don't nothing stop the money train. And hey, am I overreacting saying that I, I, I would direct you to the barbershop? and give you the hours and the location of the barbershop. Maybe I'm overreacting, or maybe I wouldn't. It depends on what type of day I'm having. I'm having a bad day, then you just get dismissed by security. If I'm having a if I'm having a good day, you know, I might send you to my Taekwondo studio and you can see what time it is. <laughs> but anyway, uh, on to the next one, man. Hey, check it out. Domo has been banned. It look like 2K, the 2K, the, bro, the 2K community, they, uh, the, uh, you know, Chris Manning, Hold on, what Chris Manning that man? Oh yeah, that, that tweet is that tweet is unavailable. Is this Chris Manning? Well, Chris Manning, doggone LD2K say, this is what we doing. Ah, everybody get banned. You get a ban. You get a ban. You get a ban. Everybody getting banned. Don't move in ban, man. They've been saying that people have been boosting from the jump. They said people have been boosting OD. Uh, Domo is one of the names that came up. And pretty much here we go. Uh, the account, the account user has been banned due to the violate due to a violation of the terms of service. Please contact customer service if you feel this was done in error. Uh, do y'all think he this was done in error? Do y'all think he's gonna stay banned or whatever? I don't know anything about the whole thing. I just report the news and I try to give the honest slant on the news, right? So like the last one, I'm just telling you, like you don't pull up on a man in this place of business. And if you get, if he get faded after that, 
then you got what you deserve. With this one, if Domo cheated, he got what he deserved. We don't know. So, Chalk is the first. He was the first legend. I guess his stuff been validated. So, anybody that feels like he might have cheated or he might have uh, boosted or something like that, it's invalid because they checked it. They actually validated. And let me let me understand you why. Because also, yesterday, Hura, uh, Invincible Hura, was talking about being the first legend. You know, he got all the pictures and stuff up here. Uh, you know. Uh, feed your kids and all this stuff. It's all fun and games. It's all fun and games until Chris Manning pulls up and says, oh, we're we going to talk about that. Now the team can review the legitimacy of this. It's all fun and games. You, you, hey, you doing all of this, putting all this out, the invincible her, you know, all this stuff antagonizing Pope Boy C and talking about feed your kids and all of that good stuff. And it's all fun and games until Chris Manning pull up on you and say, now the team can review the legitimacy of this. Pretty much in layman term, he's saying, we about to see if you've been boosted or not. And from the tweets this morning, they said, a, it, I must be gay, people so fake. I promise, th I promise their likes I promise there are like a hundred other people just like you, Beast. I guess that's what he's saying. But look, this is what Beast said. Whoever played with with that goofball Hura or, you know, de derailed him uh, is getting blocked. And But look, though, we got, we, we got, we got like, so, so this is showing Beast saying, hit me up every day, bro. I can, I can get people to boost uh, LMFAO. Uh, I just need. Let me see. I just need this rep. Dog, let me see. Hit me up. Uh, put your black forces on. I need that rep. Somebody says I'm at school. It's always funny how you're going to put Beast on Front Street, but we don't know who this person is. And we're just going to assume that that's her. But um, like I said, it's all fun and games to be Fiji kids and change the same name to Poe Boy Hur and, and be antagonistic and all of this stuff, man. All this fun and games until you catch that band hammer. And like, like I said, like, I don't understand, like, like if y'all say that Chalk did it, or if y'all saying that Chalk, that Chalk boosted or something, but he must not have boosted enough for it to come up on the radar because he passed the validation test. These people that are getting there right now, they are not passing the validation test. I don't know if, if who are trying to say that Beast was cheating too, but come on, man, how you going? Hey, look, man, if you get caught, listen, this is the way, and obviously we're growing up in a different time, and that's what I'm gonna say when we get to this third thing, uh, to the to the last story. Obviously we're growing up in a different time. If you and I get into the car and we say we're going to go and hit the corner store, and not hit the corner store, I not I just hit the corner store. You know what I'm looking for, Saint Eyes. If y'all remember that commercial, I tip. Toe through the door with a case of 4-0 with the party just a jumping in the house full of everything's chilling when I'm sipping on ST. That's how we do it in the LBC. Say not. If, if, hey, we're not hitting the corner store like that. We said we're going to hit the corner store and we're going to get some cash. If we get both get into the car and then you we go to the corner store, we hit it. I get caught. I sprain my ankle. I get caught. You bail out. I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know nothing that you had to do with it. I don't, I can't even see you. My, I had cataracts and my glasses on that day. I'm blind in my right eye and I had the left one closed that day. I don't know you. Go get away, son. Godspeed. Conversely, if I get in the car with you and you say I'm about to go hit the corner store and I get out and say I'm not with that and you go and you, and you go and, and they looking for you, I don't know you. Godspeed to you because I had a chance to get out of the situation and it, it ain't none of my business at that point. Final example. If we riding together and you run into the corner store and you hit it and you dip and you get caught and they ask, well, uh, they catch both of us and they say, well, what, what's going on? And I didn't even get out and you didn't even tell me you was about to go old dog in the corner store. Hey, he did it. I ain't had nothing to do with that. What you talking about? 
if we planned it together and we were in the scheme together, I don't know you. I'm not telling. That's snitching. That's when it becomes snitching. If you gave me a chance to get out of the situation, I don't know you. It ain't none of my business. I'm not about to tell on you because it had nothing to do with me. If we went in and you went old dog and I had no knowledge of the situation and they about to put me in jail too, I'm not doing no time for nobody. I'm snitching. This would be snitching. If what he's doing is telling on Beast because all y'all was boosting together and all that, that's unacceptable. That's snitching. But like I said, that's this generation. That ain't my generation, man. I'm, I'm old as I don't know what, man. I'm also buff, but I'm old, man. I'm older. Like, it's, it is what it is. In my generation, you don't do stuff like that. So I guess that's what it is, man. That's how we it. That's, why, that's how we doing. That's how y'all rocking now. If you get caught, you telling on everybody regardless of of uh, if y'all was rocking together or not. Anyway, Domo Band, uh, Hura Band, all this stuff. Y'all didn't stand up to the, uh, you didn't stand up to the test, so you must have been doing something wrong, man. And like I said, like, you can say whatever you want to. You can change your name a million times. Listen to me and listen to me good. You have a number that you can't see. It's just like with Windows. When you log into Windows, there's a number attached to your account that you cannot see. That's what they identify you by. So even though you can change your name a million times, that number in their system never changes. Use a 5423961. That's probably what he is, something like that. That's what they're looking for. No matter how you how you think you can change your name, but you got the same players, genius. That stuff ain't fooling nobody to fool the community. But on the back end, 5423691, that's the account that you have. We check it. It didn't stand up to validation. Good fight, good night. That's just it. If he cheated, he might not have. If you, if these two guys cheated, y'all let me know down in the comments if they cheated. If they cheated, they got what they deserve, which is the band hammer. Um, but, and like I said, hey, Chalk must not have done nothing because he stood up to the validation. It is what it is. We can get as saucy as we want to. We can get as mad as we want to. Anybody can say whatever they want to, but he stood up to the validation. It's all good. Finally, hey, look, man, we got a... We had uh, Spiritual Soul speaking out, speaking out about the 2K community. I know y'all probably saw the video saying that we need to boycott 2K. We've already said that on this channel. We need to stop spending VC. We already we already went over that on this channel. I don't understand like when somebody like me, man, man, or Brutus Sim tell y'all something, it's it, it ain't cool. But as soon as somebody with a bunch of subs tells you something, it's all it's it's all it's all gospel. I don't get that. I've been telling y'all that, man. Look, and I will tell you this too. Now, another thing he said was, you know, that content creators, uh, we create the earned media for them. And that's what, no, ain't nobody buying the game because of nobody on YouTube. Them boys made almost a billion dollars. You think that a billion dollars is generated by the people on YouTube? You're insane. That's just, that's, that's an incomprehensible amount of money. And you think that, that we are responsible for that? Nah, brother, that ain't it. Now we can stop bringing a lot of attention to the game, but it won't hurt their bottom line. Brutal Sim did a story yesterday. They made eight point, I mean, they made eight, 836 million. You think that that's all YouTubers? No, you can't think that. But the other, another thing that he was talking about that didn't sit right with me was, you know, he was talking about, you know, when money can't buy mental health and if you're playing this game and it's to your detriment. Look, if you're doing anything to your detriment, that's true. Uh, money can't buy mental health. And, um, uh, you know, you playing the game to your detriment. If you are very depressed and you just don't enjoy it, I enjoy playing the game. I genuinely enjoy it. I don't just play the game just because I make content. I've never played a game that I didn't like to just make content. But y'all did. Like he was talking about, like, 2K, bro, 2K15 was a broken mess. Everybody knows that. But that's the game that he came up off of. I don't like when people, like... Yes, he's right. You can do different things, and every time somebody in the 2K community goes and does something else, they do become bigger, and he was able to grow his second channel. But what you got to realize is he's reached critical mass. A lot of us have not reached critical mass. Critical mass is the minimum amount of, uh, of like, in, in sales terms. Okay, so critical mass has two meanings. In, in, in science, critical mass is once you have enough material, enough plutonium, or enough whatever, you can cause a nuclear reaction that will sustain itself and it will and it will continue until it runs out so you can call it you, you can you have enough plutonium you can cause a nuclear um uh, you can make a nuclear bomb for lack of a better word also in marketing uh it's the um, this is the minimum amount of people that you need to sustain your business or to maintain a venture so once you reach critical mass on youtube you can make different channels. look at D ddg like like he said he made another channel but ddg does the same thing every few months where he used to he would make it he'll get to a million and then he'll make another channel and then he'll get that channel to a million he'll make another channel he can do that because he's reached critical mass 
his supporters have reached critical mass. A lot of people that have not reached critical mass, they're still using 2K. See, like the thing is, so use 2K to reach critical mass. Now, am I saying that 2K is solely, um, solely, uh, what would you say? Solely responsible for his rise? No, it's because he's talented, he's funny, everybody likes him and all that, but you still use the vessel to get there. And, uh, like, let's say, like, Pretty Boy Fredo and Cash Nasty, they also have done it, but they tried to do something else first. They tried to do, both tried to do Call of Duty. Everybody tried to do Call of Duty, it didn't work. Chris Move did Call of Duty. Oh, hold on. We got Brutal on the scene, wicked and mean. You know the jump shot clean, keep it a bean. And in the lane, baby, flow the soft with a lean. And when you put me on the block, call me the dream. Anyway, those guys have reached critical mass. Pretty Boy Fredo tried Call of Duty, then he tried Glitches, and then that Demigod video is really what kind of put him on, and that's what helped him reach critical mass. So, um, uh, Cash Nasty tried Call of Duty, didn't really work, then he tried 2K, he was pulling packs, did all of that stuff, he put out a Jordan video, Jordan broke somebody's ankle, had a really funny fun thumbnail video, got a million views after that, boom, Cash Nasty was off to the races. Um, Oprah Side started out with uh, Call of Duty like everybody try else tried to. You know, did did some did a lot of 2K videos. Funny as I don't know what. Then got into the beef with got into the beef with uh Cash Nasty. Channel blew up after that. Started doing sports stuff. Boom, reached critical mass. He can do that. You can't. I dare anybody. Like you you can when you're talking from the per, from the perspective of, of a person that's successful. Yes, you can say money can't buy mental health, but I promise you that mental health can't pay your bills. That's why. Look, I was I like like that's why my daddy worked worked a job that he really didn't like all those years so I could have a better opportunity. Sometimes in life, this like y'all grow up in a generation where they say do what you want to do and just just go be successful, find happiness first and then get the money later. We came from a generation get the money first and then I figure out the happiness part. You think my daddy wanted to go to Georgia Power for 20 for 30 years? No, cuz the first chance he got he was out of there. You think my mama wanted to teach school for, for 30, 30 some years? No, she's tired of dealing with bad ass kids. But guess what? They did those things so that I could be successful. Actually, my mama, my mama didn't even work until I got out of high school, really. Uh, she was like, a, she, she, you know, she ain't seen work. She just took care of us. And uh, boy, that ain't gonna lie, that was a struggle. Uh, some, they don't they don't know that I know. But you know, you know how your parents do the best to shield you from how hard life is on them? Boy, they did a good job of that. I ain't gonna lie to you. And if your parents did a good job of shielding how hard life was, y'all let me know. So that's what I'm saying. Do you think that they were thinking about their, just their mental health when they would, look, I know y'all got some mamas out there. It's some people that grew up and their mama did, you know your mama did what she had to do. You know your dad and them did what they had to do to get you and they weren't thinking about mental health. The only thing they was thinking about is, Look, money can't buy mental health, but mental health can't pay no bills. I promise you that. I'm not going to, I can't take that. Listen, the ultimate goal, and I'm not going to lie, I like what Spiritual Soul is doing and where he's going. Um, but, but that's once you reach critical mass and you can go do something else and be happy. I don't like my job all the time, but I have to go there. So I'm looking at 2K just like that. You got to do what you got to do with this. You got to grind the game. You got to do this stuff during a time when you really don't want to do it. I told y'all that my motivation is money. Hell, so tell y'all in all his other videos, my, motiv my motivation is money when he was coming up. But now he's reached a point where he's changed. But you can't forget where you came from once you change. It's just like, that would be just like me going back to the hood that I came from. I'm one of the people that made it out, but I had a lot of the advantages. I can't go back and shit on those people that didn't make it. This, my, my homeboy, I got homeboys still out there selling dope. I got homeboys still out there, uh, out there hitting the corner store and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I got homeboys that still that still stuck in that situation. I can't go shit on them and be like, bro, why you still here? I can talk to them a little bit, but I can't shit on them because they had different situations and they have not reached where I'm where I would like for them to go. And so all I can do is, hey, I can try to show them a better way. We can hang out. I can wish them Godspeed and I can go, but I can't tell them, hey man, quit that job at. at, at Quit that job over there, building trailers, man, and go do what you want to do. When they don't really, you know what I'm saying? I can't tell them that. They got kids. They got kids to feed. They got to do this. They got that. They got to do that. So I would never do 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 that part. Like, be like, just burn the bridge behind me. Not burn the bridge behind me because I don't want to go back, but burn it so nobody else can come across it. Like, that's crazy. I ain't saying that's what's, what's so doing, but I'm just saying that he's talking from the perspective of somebody that's already made it. 
we hadn't made it yet. Once we reach Critical Mask, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna leave the 2K community and do exactly what y'all did, reach Critical Mask, and then lead the 2K community, but we can't do it yet, man. We, we, we getting there, we trying to get there, but people can't keep salting the game and throwing dirt on the game and making people not wanna watch videos and stuff like that. Now you're hurting other people that's content creators. But you know, it is what it is. Like I said, that's just my two cents on that. I, I get money came by mental health and stuff like that and you gotta do, but but that but that's something that you talk about. Like you talk about that when you, once you already made it. When you're trying to make it, you just gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, am I right or wrong? Y'all let me know. I, I'm gonna tell y'all what, my motivation for playing this game and doing these videos is getting paid and trying to get to the next level so I can so I can be to the point where my, where my mental health is paramount. But right now, I'm not in a position where I can do that, so it is what it is. Anyway, at least Neil. I mean, uh, anyway, y'all let me know. Neil Longo and Nish Lear down in the comments. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and I'm gonna catch y'all next time. Until next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Godspeed. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. If you ain't got no stake in the game, you ain't got no YouTube thing or whatever like that, hey, I mean, it really don't make no sense. I actually even would quote, um, would quote something that, that So said a long time ago when he said, uh, he was talking about the boot and he was the number one no life in the community and he's like if you ain't doing this for youtube or nothing why you play the game that much like exactly we, we doing it for youtube so why was it cool to do it for youtube and play the game that much then but now it's not i get that you enlightened and that's cool but but everybody has not reached that level of enlightenment so you got to allow for those other people to catch up to where you are that's all it's just like, I gotta do the same thing in my life. I gotta wait for people to catch up to where I am. I can't just put all this knowledge on anybody, you know, like that. And that, it is what it is. But I'm out of here. I'm gonna holler at y'all, man. God speak.